Hi, I'm Eric Baer, and I'm an actor. I grew up in New York City in uh, musical theater, dancing and singing, and then I spent the majority of my adult life running tech companies and raising kids and you know doing all that stuff. But I've always been a monkey. I was born in the year of the monkey. I, um, uh, one of my companies is Monkey Media at monkey.com. I've, I've been a, uh, an animal activist my whole life. And, you know, when Planet of the Apes came up, it, you know, something got lit up inside of me that had me decide to quit uh, running companies and go back to acting as a full-time career. And, uh, and so that's what brought me here. What's really great about coming back to the industry at this point in time is that the tech is really easy to use for freeing your inner monkey. Uh, so what I've got uh, on my body now is an Xsense link suit. I'm using Manus Prime 2 gloves. I've got QuadraFit arm extensions from Terry Notary's workshop, uh, a, um, a helmet from Standard Deviation, with an iPhone mini, uh, 12, 12 mini. And, uh, and so I run this uh, Unreal Engine uh, software, LiveLink, for my face, and everything runs through MVN uh, Pro on its way to Unreal Engine, or whatever people need. But that's kind of what, what I'm working with today. Now, in order to capture properly calibrated data uh, in MVN with the Xsense, you need to swap your wrist and hand sensors. So you can move the wrist sensor to your hand and your hand sensor down to uh, the bottom of the arm extension. And the reason we need to do that is because only the hand sensor allows you to connect these um, extension wires. So you switch it in, in hardware, you tell the software that you did it, and then you've got it mapped. So then we attach the the new wrist sensor to our kind of virtual wrist position, which is at the bottom of the arm extension. And, and then we wire back up again to our hand sensor that's on, on our gloves, okay? And, uh, and then you need to tell the MVN software what the dimensions are of your body because now my wingspan, my arm span, runs all the way down beyond uh, these, uh, the balls at the bottom, which are kind of like fists, but my hands are up here in the middle. So it's, it's kind of a strange mapping, but uh, it tells the software and then it can do the right thing in, you know, in, in using all this sensor fusion data to get the proper swing of where your wrist really sits you know, in, in the physical world so it can get all the geometries right, okay? But because your hand now is higher than the position of your wrist, it seems very strange. But I'll tell you, as an actor in kind of a, a realm bender, right, we live in this alternate reality, simultaneous with the reality that we see here or feel here. And so we just have to kind of put ourselves into a different space and know that our hands really are down at the ground. They're not up here where you see them. I have to experience them down at the bottom on the ground. So my fingers are down here uh, in my sense, my felt sense. And, and that's how I can embody this um, kind of parallel universe. If we don't use the glove data, when we walk around, then the hands are gonna end up kind of penetrating the floor. And you know, that's just not right. And, and you can kind of get the sense that because of the distance from the wrist to the ground, it's just, it just doesn't match up. So um, uh, that's why it's critical to use gloves in this if you want to get good data without having to do a whole lot of cleanup or have your animators have to, you know, fix things later. So with the gloves, um, we can do some really great things. We just kind of have to get into the body uh, dynamics of a particular species. Now, if I'm a chimp or, or an ape, for example, um, and I walk uh, with my knuckles on the ground, then I can hold my hands in a comfortable fist position. And then kind of the distance from wrist is gonna match like down at the bottom there, right? So if I were to walk, you'll see in the data 
that um, that my hands should be very close to the ground. That's easy to fix if it's not right. Right, so. Okay. Now, if I'm a snow monkey or like a Japanese macaque, I don't walk in that sort of way. I walk flat-footed or flat-handed with all my paws, okay? So it means I have to adopt a slightly different um, movement style. My hands are now gonna be flat. I kinda have to, um, now I can move them out, right? I don't know if I'm a camera there. I'll just do a little bit kind of in place for you, right? So. Um, and what's great is, you know, whichever species I am, uh, if I decide to lift up and use my hands, now I've got this full articulation. And while you can see the movement, you know, in this funny place, in, in this reality, in the other reality, my fingers are now kind of right where they belong at the end of my arms, right? One, two, three, four, five. I can gesture, I can open my arms, I can close, and, you know, I have that full articulation while using the extensions, and I just have to put my consciousness into my hands being in the right place on my body. What, what's great about this is that I don't have to do anything special to calibrate it in in Xsense or in Manus software, right? They just do the right thing. Um, because I've calibrated my body from the get-go, knowing what a normal position is, now everything I do derives from that, and I just get to be an actor. I don't have to think about anything special. Just remember my species, remember my bone structure, remember my musculature, and stay, you know, in the moment. And, uh, and the hardware and software just takes care of me. And that's uh, it's pretty exciting. <laughs>